Yes, sir, we're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends, Spider-Man Homecoming series, Vulture, Builder Figure Wave, Beetle Figure Review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends, imports, many maybe I'm fucking with. Heights beast we know about. You stay buying figs. And taking a look at the artwork on the left side of the box, you can see a picture of Beetle. And on the right side of the box, there's a picture of Tombstone. So Beetle and Tombstone share the same box, same bio. The bio reads, when the battle for justice is underway, artificial enhancements make these villains stronger, faster, and even more of a threat. You've got seven figures in the wave. You're going to need all seven to build the builder wings for Vulture. Got I'm Beetle sure. out of the package. So far, so good. Looks like the uh, Bucky Cap mold to me with a little extra sculpting on here. We'll get into that momentarily. Let's go over his, his uh, accessories real quick. He comes with one of the propellers here for Vulture's uh, wing apparatus. And then he comes with four separate parts for his own wings. Uh, you got these two, which are like the shoulder flaps, and then you have his left and right wings. And I called them shoulder flaps, but really those first two that I show plug in up here, and then the wings look like they plug in there, so let's get that done. Alright, so uh, it took me a moment to, to figure that out. I had put the whole thing together, but I'll do it bit by bit here just so you can see. I'm pretty sure that this uh, this portion... Uh, fits on like this so it should be able to kind of close to kind of look like a shell there and that's how you know you got these on correctly so these actually hinge and rotate uh, on this joint so you get a good range of motion on these and then I'm gonna plug in the wings and then now. I'm pretty sure the wings attach in this way if I'm wrong correct me in the comments below but uh, you know they retain all of the motion here they rotate and they hinge on this joint and then they rotate individually of each other as well uh, here. So you get a nice range of motion. These look like the same wings they've been given with all of the uh, flyers with uh, soft wings like this wasp and the female beetle. These might actually be the same exact wings that came with the female beetle. So I'm really uh, digging this figure, man. It's not really much going on in terms of the deco. You have the purple with the green and the gold eyes. And the paint applications here are very well done. I don't really see too many paint imperfections or any problems with this figure at all. I like how I certain like parts how of the green and the purple have sort of a little shimmer to it. And um, I like the light piping for the wings. You could see that a little better in the previous shot. And while the paint applications here are not anything that is real intricate, they are nicely done. They are well done. Abner Jenkins, a.k.a. The Beetle, is commonly known as a Spider-Man villain, but surprisingly, his first appearance was in Strange Tales number 123 in a Human Torch segment of that book. That was way back in uh, 1964, and then he didn't appear again until 1981, which was in uh, Spider-Man, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, number 59 and that first appearance of uh, strange tales his armor was a little different but he changed it to this classic look when he appeared in spider-man and it pretty much stayed that way until about 1997 uh, when the uh, sort of armored up version of the character was seen and it was a woman wearing a, the costume at that time who had a beef with the original beetle because she felt like he got her husband killed. And um, it's been a pretty convoluted history of Beetle and how he kind of is intertwined with other characters and even other characters in this particular wave. It's been, it's been a lot going on. But uh, yeah, so this is an armor. It, you know, it obviously allows them the power of flight. And I'm pretty sure the suit like augments his strength and gives him some type of offensive capabilities. It should be noted, too, that um, he ended up joining, the original Beetle ended up joining the Thunderbolts at some point and uh, changed his name to Mach 1. So that should be noted. I'll get more, delve a little deeper into uh, some of the details with the uh, different people who have donned uh, the costume or, or taken the name Beetle 
when I do the size comparisons. But yeah, let's go over the portions of the wings just so I can uh, get to his articulation a little better so you can see it. It should be noted that when I pulled the wings out of this part, this little circular portion actually came out of the back as well. So you might want to be careful with that. Uh, you know, it wasn't broken or damaged in any way. I was able to just pop it back in there. But uh, I figured that was something that I should mention. But the head is on the ball joint. It's going to go down just that far. It'll go up pretty far, which obviously you want to always mention this. You definitely want the head to be able to look up pretty far for a flyer. Uh, but it will go left to right, do a full 360. It'll pivot just a little, little bit. Uh, you don't really have any problems as far as the head is concerned. The shoulders I was a little concerned about when I first got them out of the package. For this whatever one, reason, the uh, left shoulder wasn't allowing me to put the arm completely to the side. But I was able to remedy that. And it seems to be working okay. Um, you know, they can go up just about that far. It's hindered a little bit from how the shoulder is, but it can do a full 360. I'm not really a fan of these two little points here. It kind of looks like this is still like a production sample and it's plugged into uh, the upper torso with pins or something like that. This is how it looked when I saw it at Toy Fair and I thought that, you know, that it would be uh, different when the actual figure drops, but you know, it's not really hindering articulation. It's just kind of like an eyesore to me personally. Not a big deal. Uh, upper bicep swivel. You get a double jointed elbow. You get a wrist swivel and a hinge. Uh, the ab crunch will go down pretty far and it'll go back pretty far. No clicking or anything here. It's actually pretty smooth like they oiled them up or something. Uh, waist articulation is there. T-joint at the pelvis. Legs will come up just about that far. They won't go back too far from how the butt is cut. Splits will look like that. You do get an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee. You do get rotation at the upper boot. You get a hinge and a pivot on the foot. Like I said, this is the Bucky Cat mold, but it seems to be some additional sculpt in here on the chest. And obviously the uh, head sculpt is one that we've never seen before. And the head does pop off. You can take that off with no problem. And pretty good. Good range of motion on a this few guy. Quick size comparisons. On the left, you have the Toy Biz Spider Man Classics Buzzing Beetle. This figure actually had a little gimmick, a little mechanism. You can see a little button right there, and it was supposed to make the wings snap out or something like that. I'm not even sure if, the, if that mechanism is still working on this figure or not, but the figure has still held up pretty well. I haven't done too, too much with it. I've, it's pretty much in its original form from when I took it out of the package. So. This beetle is supposed to represent uh, Lila Davis, if I'm not mistaken, who was the wife of the supervillain who, um, the supervillain, the ringer, I believe. Yes, the ringer. And her husband had got caught up in a life of crime and caught up with the original beetle, Abner Jenkins, and got killed. And so she blamed uh, Abner and she donned this suit and tried to take revenge. And she ended up getting killed, getting crushed to death inside the suit by graviton and uh that was her short-lived history i guess with this kind of armored up beetle and then here on the left we have the marvel legends ultimate green goblin builder figure wave ultimate beetle which really has no relation to the 616 version of beetle this was just the marvel uh ultimate universes version of beetle and then we have another female who took on the moniker of Beetle. This girl's name is Janice Lincoln. And spoiler alert, she is the daughter of Tombstone and is part of the superior foes of Spider-Man uh, team or the new Sinister Six team. And um, if you haven't read Superior Spider-Man or Superior Foes of Spider-Man, this is something I've talked about before on this channel. You should definitely check that out. It's a very funny, entertaining book and gives you a little bit of a different spin uh, or different insight into the underworld of some of these villains associated with Spider-Man. But anyway, uh, so yeah, this is how they stack up together. And then finally, there is Pizza Spider-Man. And I guess Spider-Man should be just a little taller than Beetle, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not, being that he's in an armored up, supposedly in an armored up suit here. But it is what it is. Beetle turned out really nice. Definitely happy to finally get a classic Beetle. Uh, I think this guy's going to be one of the sleeper hits from this, this particular wave. I think the comic figures in this wave are going to do very well. Seems like the uh, movie-based figures will do well also. Would have been nice if they included a pair of uh, open hands for simulated flight 
you know, I always say that. I just want to see more accessories, more interchangeable hands, more interchangeable heads. One extra pair of hands would have actually been nice with this guy. I'm trying to think of other characters that have kind of purple gloves that you might be able to swap out with. I'm not sure right now off the top of my head, but this is one I would definitely recommend. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't uh, pass up on this guy from this wave. So uh, stay tuned for the next review, which will be Tombstone. And don't forget to enter our donation drive so you can try to win the Ultimate Spider-Man and Vulture 2-Pack. The link for that will be in the description below. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. That's crispy.